Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Thomas Knowlton, America's first spy, or better put, America's first head of intelligence. Thomas Knowlton had started fighting as a soldier when he was just a teenager during the French and Indian War where he followed his older brothers to those battles and he learned how to do it so well that a decade and a half later when the American Revolution breaks out, his militia in Connecticut vote for him to be their captain. Yes, they chose him to lead them, and he did. After the Lexington alarm, alarm is heard and the Lexington and Concord battle takes place, Thomas Knowlton and his men go to the Siege of Boston. Notably, Knowlton performs exceptionally at the Battle of Bunker Hill, where he defends several fortifications and, most importantly, defends the retreat of the Patriots after they ran out of ammunition and were being chased off the hill by the British. Because of the renown he gets at Bunker Hill, once George Washington shows up, he chooses Knowlton to perform several reconnaissance missions that are pretty dangerous around Boston during that almost year-long siege before the British evacuate. After the evacuation, Knowlton joins the Continental Army in moving to uh, New York City, where the fighting is now about to take place, and while he's there, he's promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. He's also given a very specific task by General George Washington. He wants to train Knowlton's men, who are now called Knowlton's Rangers, as a special elite unit, one of the more superior fighting forces in the Continental Army, and tasked with performing reconnaissance and perhaps even espionage missions. And this is where Thomas Knowlton becomes the first spy master in American history. George Washington tells him to recruit some people, and he does. The first person he recruits and trains and sends out on a mission is probably... America's most famous spy, Nathan Hale, the gentleman who's known for getting hung very quickly and saying the line, I only regret is that I have but one life to give for my country. Though we probably didn't say that, it was probably attributed to him by his friends, he's still most America's most famous spy, although the television show Turn has certainly changed some of that. Now, as for Knowlton, he recruits Hale and sends him off on his mission, and then he goes out on a mission of his own to do some reconnaissance with the Rangers. Now, Unfortunately, this story takes a really sad turn. Uh, not only does Hale go and less than a week later is hung because he's caught almost immediately, Thomas Knowlton ends up running into a little bit of an ambush with the British while he's on his spy mission with the Rangers. Now, the Rangers and Knowlton retreat and end up making it back to camp in time, but the British follow him, and that turns into the Battle of, Har the Battle of Harlem Heights. Now, Knowlton and the Knowlton's Rangers, who did make it to safety, they end up turning around and going back out. They're sent back out to fight, because now a battle is broken out, and they're soldiers. They do go out to fight, and unfortunately, Knowlton is killed in the battle. And even more unfortunately, less than a week later, is when Nathan Hale, his protege, is also hung. So America's first spy master in Knowlton, and America's first spy in Nathan Hale, are both killed within a week of each other. It is a very sad turn of events, but it's extraordinarily important for General Washington and espionage for the Continental Army at large, because the list of lessons they learn from these particular events, from this one tragic week in American espionage history, totally adjusts the way they go about espionage. And this is where you get your Benjamin Talmages and your television show turns and your... Uh, 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 Taylor's in New York City, uh, not Horatio, uh, uh, from the, the play, and my, of course my mind is escaping me, Hercules Mulligans, and your James uh, Lafayette's, and all of the other spies. It's all because of the tragic turn that took between Nathan Hale and Thomas Knowlton. Now, I do want to note, Thomas Knowlton's Rangers were given their mission in 1776, and nowadays, the United States Army Intelligence Service on their seal, which you can see here, has the date 1776. And the reason for that is that the Nathan, Thomas Knowlton's Rangers were first given the task of espionage for the United States. Now, I do want to note, there are a whole bunch of seals for a whole bunch of different uh, intelligence services throughout the American Armed Forces. Uh, even the three in the middle there are for different parts of the intelligence service, but for the uh, United States Army, their intelligence service very directly is linked to Thomas Knowlton. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and hit like down there. 
That way more people will learn about the American Revolution. And subscribe if you're new here. I put out videos seven days a week about a different American founder every single day. I know you'll enjoy it, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.